Welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time a new video goes up on SoFlow TV. All right, let me start this out with a Jamaican data posted in an earlier news report. What my experience tells me is that athletes in general, especially those who come from a low expectancy level, in other words, not much was expected of them. They are usually unable to separate themselves from the people who hop onto their various bandwagons. They tend to have short memories and they tend to listen to people that they just meet or who have been around since they became successful or famous. These are the words of Coach Francis. Never see, come see. We have a large number of top class athletes and we usually have a large number of developing athletes and sometimes an athlete find it hard to reconcile when they hear of their fellow competitors talking about their coaches or calling them and their coaches do this and do that because being successful you tend to want to see those type of things happen to you and again the athletes lose focus on what their accomplishments are and they focus more on things that I would call at its best frills. We do have problems with those people who do not like to be around competition in their camp. Francis stated, prima donna, hmm, question signs. I'm going to go through some more of these comments because the people them over here beat Ilian Badino. They're beating Elaine bad because the story goes on that remember when they asked Elaine Thompson Hera if she was going to leave her track club which got her the platform and got her to that great state of glory. Fastest woman in the world, all this other stuff. Olympic champion, athlete of the year now and all that. She said, nah, why are people making up rumors? I guess because I'm famous now. People are going to talk about me, but nothing, nothing like that. That's what she said first, right? And then a couple of weeks later, it is official. Elaine thompson Hera has left the MVP club. And, you know, some people are saying, sell out. And other people are saying, well, she has a right. So shout out to the Jamaica Observer for this one. Quickly, Kingston, Jamaica. Two-time double Olympic champion over 100 and 200 meters and Jamaica's national record holder over both distances, Elaine thompson Hera says that she outgrew the celebrated MVP track club and that was her reason for severing her ties with the Papine St. Andrew-based outfit last month. thompson Hera, who now works out of the micro-university in St. Andrew, as the Cameron Blazers track club under the watchful eyes of her husband, Deron Hera, who is a coach, made the comment while speaking on Miss Kitty Live on Nationwide Radio on Wednesday. She just outgrew them. Cameron Blazers is head by noted Olympian Bert Cameron. And while Thompson Hera said that her husband is not really her coach, she said that he oversees her program. I've outgrown the environment at MVP pretty much you know. What I want for myself and to better myself, that was not provided. So I have to find ways to get it, Thompson Hara said. Which leaves me to wonder what did she want for herself that she did not get? Because the only thing I remember her not getting was breaking Flojo's world record. She broke Flojo's Olympic record that was set from way about 19 when. And the only thing she didn't get was breaking the world record. Now, other than that, she smashed the 100, smashed the 200. She is athlete of the year. She is all these things noted now fastest woman in the world. I'm going to tell you what I think about um, her as far as what she should get coming around. But let me finish this. She said what I wanted for myself and based on the path that I am heading, MVP could not provide that anymore for me. And I think that doing it on my own, it will be more better for me, she added. 
Now while at the Stephen Francis headed MVP Thompson Hera won both the 100 and 200 meters at the 2016 Rio Olympics as well as bronze in the 4x100 meter relays, she successfully defended her title in Tokyo 2020 which, held, which happened in 2021 and added the 4x100 meter gold. Between Tokyo Olympics and the subsequent Diamond League circuit, Thompson Hara crowned herself through her own hard work, the second fastest woman of all time over the 100 meters behind the legendary Florence Griffith Joyner. Let's not get it twisted. She also crowned herself, which cause she won it. The fastest woman to ever run in the Olympics, right? Because she broke that Olympic record. She stopped the clock at 50.54, seconds at the Diamond League Prefontaine Classic in Eugene, Oregon, not too far off of Griffith Joyner's world record, which was 10.49. A lot of people are saying she can definitely do it because 10.54 is not too far from 10.49. In the world of athletics, sprinting though, that's a whole lot of time to shave off. Yeah, but Elaine is young and she is a go-getter and we believe that she sometime over the course of her career will be able to actually accomplish that right seconds that time florence griffith joiner's time was set in 1988 and it's a very controversial time a lot of people were saying that florence griffith joiner was actually allowed to bow out gracefully instead of being charged with doping and being disgraced after all she had done for the United States of America's track program. All right. So we're not going to argue that the time is there. The time stands. If Elaine beats that time, then hands down, it is what it is. Her fastest time over the 200 meters is the 21.53 seconds that she ran to win the Olympic finals in Tokyo. Although she raised eyebrows by leaving the MVP club that brought her so to this unprecedented heights and she denied initial media reports, like I said in the beginning, it turns out to be exactly so that she left. Thompson Hera said that she is appreciative though of what the club has done for her so far. I appreciate everything that they have done in giving me the platform, but sometimes you have to just move on she added now a lot of people are beat are bad sometimes you have to just move on no hmm i wonder if the hype is getting to her head uh star apple says elaine there is nothing wrong with leaving a business partnership however you said that the club that took you to stratospheric heights and the best coach in the world could no longer take you where you want to go but you are now under the tutelage of a coach who has no record of training a successful female sprinter of your caliber. You say your husband is not your coach, but that he is overseeing your program. Isn't that the job of a coach, Elaine? Again, you are the client and you can take your talent where you choose, but your utterance are puzzling. Good luck to you, sweetie, is what Star Apple said. Norman Lee says, and I said on this forum, she wants to keep everything in the family. That's fair enough. Still, we're looking for similar results and don't expect to be disappointed. In other words, some people don't care who she coach with. As long as when it comes time to run, she can put it down out there. Panitar, just like how it's expected of her. Nobody wants to see her switch, switch up the formula that got her to the winnings. And suddenly she starts losing because she will have to backpedal and I don't think that's going to happen. Let me wait and see what happened now. Time is the master of things. We shall all see is what Iconic said. And Dharmic Tree says, well, it's her life. It's her career. It's her choice. But she can leave without burning her bridges behind her. Saying what i want for myself and to better myself that was not provided wow 
what I wanted for myself and based on the path that I am heading, MVP could not provide that anymore. Steve Francis took her from obscurity and made her into a world beater and near world record holder. A more classy exit would have been appropriate. I wish her the best still, but if this isn't ungratefulness, I don't know what is. And remember, she's at the top now, and there's only one way to go from there. Hmm, Frano is a winner. We made Malayan Walker great too over the 400 meter hurdles, and she left in a huff after saying he was stopping her from running the 100 meter hurdles. That, as y'all can see, was the end of her career. Williams 00 said, not all marriages end amicably. Some end downright messy. We don't know the full reason behind the split. So we in the public domain will continue to speculate. So we will see how it plays out. Recall Shell split and return. I am hearing that she has a new coach now. It is a business. It's not welfare. And chapter one said, indeed, she should have made a more classic exit. A more classy exit. Earlier this week, the legendary Steve Gerrard opted to leave Rangers to be the new boss at Aston Villa. He didn't hold back in thanking his former boss, staff and fans for the opportunity. Burning bridges last forevermore. Mike Curb Congregation. All right. Somebody says, why it sounds like hubris, ingratitude and foolishness. After he took you to the top of the world, you then think you outgrew him? I think you will live to regret this day. Forget about Flo Joe's record. I think you just will live to regret this day. William says, stop the hot air. You and I don't know the reason for the split. All right, here's my thing. I think that, uh, I don't know. I felt kind of salty about her leaving at first because, you know, if it ain't broken, why fix it? And, you know, track and field can be such a delicate thing. A lot of people say it's the coach that makes the athlete. I don't understand that because I ran track and field for damn near all my schooling. High, junior high, high school, college, track. So it's not the coach. A good coach, though, will take you to heights because they will push you in a certain way and they have certain techniques that are unique to them. Each person has their own coaching style. That's why it's not too good to mess with the formula, right? So it's when you find a good coach that meshes with you, you're going to have great results. In her case, again, it's the athlete. It's not the coach. In other words, it's the athlete that has the physical abilities. So Elaine, I think at this part of the game, has learned enough, soaked up enough from MVP and a top coach that she herself can now replicate these teachings without still being under his tutelage. I don't think he's going to be able to teach her anything new, just repetitive training of the same stuff they've gone over for quite some time, right? I think she have muscle memory all that now. So now it comes down to business. And in business, sometimes you can't be too friendly. You have to secure your own future. Sometimes when the bag comes in, speaking of money, say for instance, a million US come in. The million US, it looks sweeter now when she splits it between her and her husband. The million US looks sweeter when she splits it between her family and don't have to share it with anybody outside. No coaches taking no extra fees or anything like that. She's probably securing herself financially in the process. I mean, she's a wise lady. She knows that she's not going to be able to run track and field forever as much as she loves it. And time is of the essence. A simple injury can end her career right now where she sits. And that's how sports, professional sports goes. So she needs to be in the mind frame of business and getting to the money. That's just how I feel about it. And I see greatness coming out of this too because, hey, her husband already has experience as a coach. So imagine if her and her husband start their own track club. That can be a whole lifetime legacy right there. I'm talking about years after Elaine Thompson-Hara has, has passed away from earth. 
Because we who are going dead, you know. But what's their legacy going to be? Is anybody going to remember you? You know? It's just like John Hopkins. And Sir John Hopkins, they have John Hopkins University. And then he's not around anymore, but people still remember him. You know? So it could be the same thing that Elaine Thompson Hera Track Club. 60 years from now, new fresh faces, new athletes, new talent, all going through there and making it onto the world stage because it's such a prestigious track club that was established how long ago by this great woman who went out there and did the work and, you know, proved herself and then took those expertise to her track club and encouraged more and gave back to more and I, I just see bigger. So sometimes people are dreaming for your life like they have your life planned out for you, but you have your life planned out for you better. And it's not everything that you can tell everybody. It's not even good to tell everybody your future plans every step of the way, which is what I feel like a lot of us are expecting from Elaine. You know, I think she already knew she was going to leave MVP, but she wasn't ready for it to go out there yet. And some way it leaked. It leaked because people like me were watching and we are fans of her. So when she wasn't showing up to practice and all that, we started scratching our heads and we're like, mm, something all right to know. So we started asking the question and lo and behold, it turns out that's exactly what it was. Sometimes you just have to keep your business private, go about your business and do your thing. And then when people see it happening, you know, you can talk about it then. I still wish Elaine all the best. As long as she representing Jamaica when she run. And like I've said on the videos before this, Elaine, if you left, if I see you show up at any Olympics or any international meet in a, any other uniform other than a Jamaican thing, me I go back with you. But again, that's her life. You know, I will always be rooting for Team Jamaica, whoever it is. And I will probably always be secretly rooting for Elaine, even if she was to leave us. I don't think she's going to leave us, though, as a true Jamaican girl. But, you know, money talk. We'll see where this goes from here. I'll be following. And I wish her all the best. Leave your comments in the comment section below. How am I sound? What do you think? What are your thoughts on her leaving and all the information you just heard? Talk up. And I'll catch you on the next video with SoFlo TV. I'm out. Peace.